Yo, hi, thanks for 300 subs. I was not at all meaning for this to be a 300 sub special, but I kind of left my channel for a bit. Sorry about that. If you'd like to skip straight to the destruction sections, I suggest skipping over to like the Polaroid unboxing or just straight to the drop tests if you'd like. Anyway, hopefully this 20 minute long video will be a good excuse for me leaving for so long. Hello everyone, today we're gonna be destroying some $8 cameras. And also a $4 one. I bought these two cameras off eBay a week ago just to see what an $8 camera would feel like to use. This one's a brand new kids camera and this one is from like 2008. This camera which I actually featured in a video is I don't know how old. I think it's from around 2008 as well. I got this one from Goodwill for like four bucks so it's actually cheaper than both of those but we're gonna see if any of these cheap cameras actually function well both physically and technologically. Also that Polaroid box is falling apart. <laughs> All right, first package. I actually quite like this box and how it kind of pops out like this. Made in China? Oh, I couldn't tell. All right, it's reveal time. Damn it, got stuck. There we go. Well, I didn't actually know it would come with a case, so that's kind of cool. Let's set this aside. Oh look, it came with stickers. All of these stock images are in a completely different art style. Why? Wait a second, I don't even think these are sticker- wait. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. It's a tattoo! I don't even remember how these are supposed to work, but like, it can sit on my palm, because why not? This one I'm not even gonna bother opening. I'm assuming this is just like some cables for it or something. Ooh, it came with adapters! Okay, came with the USB-C to USB. It also came with a micro USB to USB. This is the shortest f***ing cable I've ever seen in my life. We also have a strap. It's like already falling apart a little bit. Okay, this tattoo is like falling off now. Honestly, why did we even invent this junk? Hello, Summer. This is like the worst handwriting I've ever seen. Also, may I take the time to mention that even these metal looking parts feel like plastic? Just. Do a thing. There we go. Imagine going into school one day with this piece of junk strapped around your neck. Oh wait, I, I actually missed something. There's like a manual in here. Oh, okay, it's terrible translations. There's honestly no way I could get these instructions to sound funny, so I'm just gonna get a British friend on a Discord call. The key that, according to the light, take a picture slash video slash confirm. Key up slash big head set up the... Key down slash big head. Photo video slash confirm. Click to take a photo, comma, or video, comma, delete the photos for the confirmation key, period. The key slash big head paste, colon, can turn over the directory and photos bring up the big head paste. This isn't how English works. <laughs> Google Translate. I think Big Head Paste is talking about the, uh, like the frames and the filters. <laughs> they don't know the definitions of the word Big and Head. <laughs> Reset key. If the camera cannot be switched on and off, card machine fault. Please use toothpick or steel needle insert reset hole long. Re display light colon under normal charging. The light flashing, full of power off, under normal, boot normally on, off the rear light out, matters needing attention. When the camera prompts that the power is insufficient, please use the attached data cable to charge it in time and plug it into the 5V power supply, the converter or power USB interface for charging. The machine is not included with the power charger, period. What's the premium product? The power charger or the camera? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, the camera's not included with the charger. <laughs> Do not disassemble so as to not cause danger and warranty. Period. Yeah, make sure not to cause warranty. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to replace it and do it yourself. Do not beat or squeeze the camera. Alright, back to the camera. Eh. Also, let's just like take it out of the case because I, I hate this thing. Now it looks like the camera listing. It's even got scratches on the screen already. Is there a screen protector on this thing? Eh, oh yeah, there is, there is. ASMR time.
Beautiful. So beautiful, there's a scuff on the screen. Okay, can someone explain to me why someone thought it would be a good idea to just add this fake viewfinder here? Like, in no way does it make you look any more professional with your f***ing blue reindeer case with Hello Summer on your strap. I think even the fake viewfinder has a screen protector on it. Oh my god, it does. It has a fake screen protector. There's, there's no, there's nothing you're protecting there. And just to add insult to injury, that lens is not even centered. Bruh. Oh yeah, and it even comes with an SD card. Honestly, I think this card is the only reason this camera has any value. Alright, let's boot it up. <laughs> oh my god. I love how this camera just has, like, its own custom startup image, and it's just a compressed JPEG of some kids riding giraffes. Also, do you see that screen tearing? ridiculous. Oh my god, are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? Are you seeing this? Sus camera. All right, let's take a picture. Amazing. Let's try that again without motion blur. This time, let's just like do the outside. If you couldn't already tell, this camera clearly isn't 3 megapixels, it's more like 0.3. I literally have a 21 year old camera that takes better pictures than this. 0 out of 10. If you're gonna get your kid a camera, please go to Goodwill and find one for cheaper than $8. Alright, I guess I have to take a video now. Great. Hi. Are you taking... Uh, cool, this is great. I... That's outside. Uh, okay, bye. Oh wait, check this out. It's got, like, filters. Oh dang, it, it even has some, like, frames and stuff. Beautiful. Next up, let's unbox this camera. Something looks familiar about this. I mean, you can't blame me for saying they look kind of similar. The viewfinders and the lenses are in the same position. The Speed Racer looks like an entirely different camera, though, and it even has three changing faceplates! Wow, I'd love to go in public with some stock images slapped on my camera. Five Speed Racer. It's the new Seven Grand Dad. It's kind of sad that Sakaar was willing to go out of their way just to make a camera that capitalizes on a TV series from the 60s, but, you know. Look, it's that one mock Hot Wheels car that... I guess I had or something at some point. All right, let's unbox it. Use as a webcam. Please don't. Open flap for more details. Open flap for more details. Damn, it's like you'd see one of these things in a store or something. Except they put the flap on the back? Great marketing plan. This is why I was able to accidentally buy two of these brand new. Oh my god, it comes with an editing software. Add date, text, frame, shapes, clip art, sound clips, and more. I, I, I don't want to. Run full screen slideshows with your music. Oh hell yeah, we're gonna have fun with this. Personalize your photos and create unique images. It's two of the same image, just one is slightly boosted saturation. Write your own action adventure. Can someone please tell me why this is included with a freaking car camera? Also, what does cars have to do with cameras like at all? Challenge your wits with five action-packed games. Action-packed games such as sliding puzzle, word scramble, mechanical maze, word search, and jigsaw puzzle. Very action-packed. This camera was created in 2008 and they still felt the need to add the no film needed tag. All right, let's open this thing up. Wow, paper. Look, it's a warranty card. Oh no, the software disc. Actually, I kind of need this, so. If any of you guys have watched Dank Pods before, you may have seen his Hello Kitty MP3 player video. It had this exact same formatting where you just had a bunch of numbers and then MP3 player at the end. The Hello Kitty MP3 player also came with three changing faceplates, so uh... Oh yeah, and guess who made the Hello Kitty MP3 player? I think we all know what kind of company Sakar is now. Alright, let's get it out. This thing is insanely light. Also, I already put the batteries in. You know you bought a quality product when the screen protector is already peeling off. Look, it's a plastic tripod mount. Amazing. These things break so easily. All right, let's replace this seven grand dad remastered edition. Mm, yeah, CGI stock image. All right, powering up is easy enough. Yep, there we go. I must mention that this thing is a pain in the ass to take photos or videos with. I've already taken some earlier, so I'm not gonna take more now. So here's a cut to me installing this software on my computer.
Well, that was a fail. Oh great, there's a massive gouge in my disc. Okay, I finally got the disc to work using some 40-year-old car wax. Let's start with the driver install. Yay, 93085, that looks about right. Install. Next. I agree. Uh, sure. The newest operating system this is supposed to run on is Windows Vista, so I don't expect it to work. Oh, uh, it froze. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's installing, it's installing. It's actually working now. It just took, like, way too long. Finally! Hey, check it out. It's actually using this thing. Check it out, it's my face. Hi. Whoa, that's kind of freaky. It doesn't seem to be recognizing any of the photos that I took with it, so I guess I have to take some more. Okay, well, it's not saving my photos, and now it's giving me this error, so... This is the only way I can get a picture out of this camera. Yeah, this is what it looks like. This one gets a negative 1 out of 10, because it doesn't even work properly. But hey, at least I can turn the resolution down to 160 by 120 pixels. Great! You can see every hair in my nostril with these pixels. Here's a dumbass drop test. Oh wow, it survived. And now, it's Polaroid unboxing time. Don't worry, this one has a case. Ugh. Powering up. That's not good. Alright, apparently a case doesn't save this thing. But hey, at least it has a strap. I love when landfill comes with landfill. Oh my god, it's actually working now. Welcome back! It's been a week since I last recorded a video. Anyway, welcome to Destruction Garage or something, I don't know. Today, we're gonna be doing some drop tests, but to make this test a little more interesting, let's go higher. Starting with the blue camera. Get a video going. Alright, there we go. When the imposter is sus. Here it is. That did literally no damage. I see some on the lens and like a little dent over here, but that's it. Throw test in three, two, one. 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 Oh my God. This one corner of the screen is still working. <laughs> Besides that though, I'm noticing literally no other marks on it. What I am noticing though, is that that small space in the viewfinder, you can see that it's not even in focus anymore, so uh... Now it's the Polaroid's turn. I'm not even gonna try to record a video because I know for a fact it will lose contact with the batteries. In three, two, one... Okay, here we are. Oh great, it's falling apart, why am I not surprised? Uh, but I'm pretty sure we can just pop it back in. Yo, it works! I'm not sure you guys can see that, but there is a little like dust mark on the sensor now, I don't know what that's about. Throw test! Well now it's falling apart! Damn! It's kind of working. Oh, I see what happened. I'm trying to make this as visible as I can. If you look inside there, the sensor is being covered by the shutter. Oh well. And finally, it's the Speed Racer's turn. Three, two, one. Is it done? Ah, 
I couldn't tell you for the life of me where that battery cover went. Throw test. Hey look, it's right next to the dead rat. And it's in pieces. Wonderful. Looks like I didn't have to do it myself. Let's see if it still turns on. Nope, she's dead. And I can see why. Hi there, it's been yet another week since I last filmed a video. I also forgot to put batteries in this camera, be right back. All right, I have batteries now. Put them in. All right, power up the blue camera. The screen doesn't even show anything anymore. All right, it's taking a video. Oh, it's floating. Ooh, let's get some bubbles in there. Hi, are you still alive? Oh, it turned off. <laughs> oh geez, it's filled with water. Can it turn back on? I think it's boot looping. I'm gonna take that card out and force shut down. It's not turning off. All right, let's put it back in. It can stay there. Next up is the Polaroid. Let's drop it in. This thing is so much heavier now. <laughs> I don't see any water in the lens yet, so. There we go. That was the weak spot. Oh, the screen turned off. The light, oh, nope, the light's gone now. Oh, it's flickering. It doesn't turn off, it, it's, it's boot looping. Let's try taking the batteries out. Eh, go back in. There we go. Oh my God, it's still working. Oh, but the screen is going whack. The screen is going crazy. Oh, it's, it's getting whiter. Okay, it's completely white now. I can't see anything. Well, that's dead. Also, may I take the time to mention that this camera is still on? Just fill with bubbles already, Jesus Christ. This camera is still on. Oh, no, it just turned off. And as for the speed racer, it, it, it's already broken, so. This is one fun bubble bath. Let's try and fill this blue camera all the way with water. Yeah, it, it's, oh, it's coming through the lens. The screen still has some air in it. Okay, yeah, this isn't happening. Let's drain the water out. <laughs> The camera is still on. Let's see, how's the Polaroid? There's still nothing in the screen. That's really weird. Yep. It's dead. The cartoon camera wins. How are you still working? Kinda. Uh, I don't have a towel anywhere. Oh, no. Here, you can sit there for now. Okay. Here's a towel. Let's shake it out first. Oh, jeez. All right, well, that can sit there. Our winner here is very full of water. All right, that can sit like that. I don't think you guys can tell, but that screen is definitely on. These can all dry now. The Polaroid turned on. It's not turning off. <laughs> okay, these have been drying for about a few days now, so let's see if they work. Okay, well, it's not making any noises, so I really can't tell if it's working or not. Let's see if it turns off. Yeah, it doesn't turn off. That means it, it's completely dead. Boop. Oh yeah, and it immediately turns off when you unplug it. Next up, the Polaroid. Ooh, okay, well, the screen is freaking out, but it's actually working. Speakers work fine. Screen is consistently flashing. Let's see if the storage still holds anything. Oh my god, it's still storing it. Okay, so apparently the shutter button is actually just exposure. Um, something's not right. <laughs> Goodbye. And finally, the Speed Racer. It didn't work in the first place. And now, the part you've all been waiting for. The destruction. Starting with this incredible gift that you can get for your kids for extra cheap for the holiday season. They're gonna love having this camera for 0.5 nanoseconds before they break the screen. With quality so good you can see pixels and durability so good that you can destroy the screen with a flick. This is the perfect cheap gift to give to your kids this year. And just to show you how good the quality is, we're gonna hit this camera with a bat. Okay, I seriously thought this camera would actually be weaker. All right, last resort. How? You do not shrug off the splitting mall. Or maybe you do. 
Okay, um, unexpected much? Oh look, they lied to me, it's a 600 milliamp hour battery. And no, it is not getting hot. <laughs> I'm smelling the fumes! Okay, I think the battery was actually just like completely killed by the water because it did not get warm at all. Oh god, we don't want that to happen. Alright, I'm done screwing with the battery. Eh, <laughs> goodbye. Now, it's the Sakar's turn. Remember kids, don't drink and drive. Here he comes, here comes the racer. He's a demon on wheel. He's a demon and he's gonna be chasing after someone. And finally, it's the Polaroid's turn. I don't want to destroy this thing in any normal fashion, but I'm not sure what else I can do with it. But I have a log splitter. Let's see what it does. So what have we learned today? If you don't want to get your kids a phone, but you do want to get them a camera, please make sure you buy a name brand one, and make sure it's not Polaroid. eBay's gonna have a lot of cameras, and Goodwill might, depending on where you live, so I don't see a reason to get cheap no-name cameras. And with that, thank you everyone for watching, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will hopefully see you guys later, I swear I won't take another break. Hopefully. Anyways, bye.